Last time I spoke to Easy about Take This Walk With Me podcast was August 21st. That Monday that we decided to not do the show that week in studio to do it live. We never spoke about the show not happening anymore. Over those over that month before I actually explained to people after the Geechee battle. And here's the thing. I seen I seen the comments. Oh, after the Geechee battle, ah, uh, Froze jumped off the bus. That's simply not true. It's not. I didn't say anything for a month before the Geechee battle when we had that disagreement. Right? So I waited a whole month. If he would have won the Geechee battle, would it have been bad timing then? It only it only came off as bad timing because he he lost the Geechee battle. Or a lot of people felt like he lost the Geechee battle. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP, my network partners over at Fox 5 and Y. Make sure that y'all check out the interview with Geechee Gotti. It is out now. I'll probably pin it in the comments, you know what I'm saying, so you can check that out. We also got an overtime episode, you know what I'm saying, we did a new program because we actually went over the time where we were supposed to be there just talking about things and chopping up uh, battle rap so now we're gonna have a new segment that we're gonna call overtime I let out a clip it's on the channel you can check that out too and just shout out to everybody out there that's continuing to support us and make sure you subscribe to the channel you know what I'm saying like we've been pushing up the numbers and getting things going and keeping things going on this channel and you know we we, we continuing to do what we do so subscribe but uh Rosenberg Raw shout out to him and everything that he's got going on easy to black captain they're going back and forth they had a podcast together. The podcast abruptly ended. Easy went live yesterday. He explained some things. He said Rosenberg Raw had lied about it. Uh, Rosenberg Raw went live today with his side of the story saying that he didn't lie about it. He's saying that they hadn't spoke to each other since August. And now they're at this point where Easy's going to do his thing and Rosenberg going to do his own thing too. But then here's the deal. Uh, it looks like and I feel like this relationship definitely ended because of ego, you know what I'm saying, because they, they couldn't see eye to eye. Uh, Rosenberg Raw had came into media, he starts doing his thing, he starts a YouTube channel, he's doing his thing. And here's the thing, right? I rock with Rosenberg Raw, but Rosenberg Raw, no, I call him out if I feel like he's not calling it down the line, adding cut on the product. I told him that. I was like, yo, you will not be respected media in this game if people feel like you got an alliance with anybody, an allegiance, a bias, any of that shit. It's not going to work because you have to call every battle down the line and you have to call it straight. I've ended relationships with people that I was cool with or whatever the case may be. We still cool now, but I can't be around you. I can't be hanging out all in the videos and all in somebody's presence then having to call their battles. If you feel like they won, if you feel like they lost, or you feel like they got smoked, you have to call it like that. How I feel about your battle, or how you feel about me feeling about your battle, ain't gonna support, ain't gonna feed my kids. FTK, feed the gang, you know what I'm saying? Rice gang clothing. So, I have to take care of my responsibility. I have a responsibility. People come to my channel to see recaps, to see breakdowns, to get what they want. And if I'm hanging out with a battler and I'm cool with him and shit like that and I can't say the nigga lost and niggas don't want to hear they lost, like me and Rock is cool, but every single battle that I feel like Rock lost, he know I feel. Danny Moot was just on live talking about the other day. I said, man, Danny got you that day. Moot got you. Uh, they like, I'll say the battles that I feel like he lost. We talk about it. It's all good. But everybody not like that. You can't tell everybody they lost the battle. Niggas won't fuck with you no more. They don't rock with you. They want yes men around them and shit like that. And that's just the way this shit goes. It's just the way battle rap is. So, what I'm hearing is Froze and Easy's relationship started to dwindle like before the Mike P battle. You know what I'm saying? I've been heard the podcast had ended. I've been heard that they wasn't going to do it no more. And here's my thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Y'all ain't spoken almost two, three months. A phone and Froze is on his joint saying we could get on the phone if he called me today we could get on the phone we could talk about it we could squat like Froze seems like he wants to go the route to just dead the shit and move on with what he's doing it's easy gonna pick up the phone reach out to him and y'all niggas talk that shit out because if y'all was cool enough to have a show together y'all should be cool enough to just talk about it you know what I'm saying I think I think that that could be the best resolution for both parties involved because at the end of the day Froze is a talented rapper. Easy is a talented rapper. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. They didn't need each other. They joined each other. And the thing is, when they joined each other, it was when Easy had left URL 
and Rosenberg Raw was doing his thing, but when Easy was on URL, like people have said, I never heard him say shit about Rosenberg. I ain't even know these niggas knew each other. I did not know these niggas knew each other or had each other's numbers. So their relationship, it seemed kind of like, how did this start anyway? But we was like, cool, it's Philly, Philly, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Y'all take it to where it need to go. Easy obviously took off and went to the meteoric level and uh, viral and all this other shit. And Froze is doing his thing too. So at the same time, Froze, who's been in the game for 14 years, Easy gets hot the last couple years, but he shoots to the top of battle rap. He looking at a nigga that has been in the game for 10, 15 years as a subordinate because I'm hot right now. I just battle Hitman. I just did this. I got that going. I'm doing, I got Geechee coming up. You can't really tell him nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you really can't tell that nigga nothing. What is he going to hear? He ain't going to hear nothing. You So, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like nothing happened between these niggas that's too bad to where they need to be talking to each other through blogs. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know enough mutual people as to where somebody can reach out, them niggas get on the phone, they can squash that shit and move on. Because at the end of the day, if Froze is going to be doing media, he can't add no cut to his product. You can't say a nigga won a battle that, that the majority of the population. See, the thing is, if you if there's a battle, right, that's close, like easy in chess, you could go either way. But if there's a battle where the majority of the polls, the majority of the people, the majority of everything feel like one person won, you putting your brand on the line by going the other way. Even if you know in your heart of hearts that the person that you feel like didn't win. You can't do that. Because you, you're, you're jeopardizing your name and your brand by saying someone won a battle that they didn't win. And the thing is, I see Easy recapping the battle and he's not really giving Geechee no credit at all. It's like, he, he feel like this nigga just went up there. <laughs> he feel like this nigga just went up there and did nothing. I was listening to this shit, I'm like, okay. So you saying, uh, you feel like you got the first two, right? And you saying like his third was a bunch of bullshit, it was gossipy, it was about Ram, it was that. Bro, this is battle rap. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what is he talking about? Like, I, I mean, I get it, but you have to understand that if you would have did that to him, you would have been live over it. You would have went live the next day. It would have been a party. You would have been celebrating, my nigga. That's the only thing I'm saying. And so I see people saying that, oh, Vada, you jumped off the train. First of all, I wasn't on the train. My thing is this. It don't matter who you are. If you battle and you win, I say you won. If I don't feel like you won, I don't say I feel like you won. It doesn't matter who you are like that. I, I, I've told y'all this from the beginning, though. And y'all be trying to play with my handle like it's not like that. And I'm like, this is how I am. I've always been like this. Do I like Easy as a battle rapper? Yes. Do I respect his talent? Yes. Do I feel like some of the moves that he made, you know what I'm saying, in this whole situation and Rosenberg made in this situation were the greatest? Probably not. But at the same time, it ain't nothing that they can't just water under the bridge and move on. They both could jump on camera. We spoke yesterday. It is what it is. He going to do his thing. I'm going to do mine. You know what I'm saying? And we good. And the shit will be over with. You know what I'm saying? We got to, sometimes you got to put the ego and pride aside. You know what I'm saying? As grown men, they should put the ego and pride aside. But I feel like Frozenberg kind of compromised himself at times. But he had battles on Chrome. He had a battle on the trenches. Uh, he had the podcast. He had a lot of shit in play. So when you got a lot of stuff in play with one person, you know what I'm saying? They can kind of be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I got you to battle on the card. Like, yo, woo de woo And it gets like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I said... I think for Rosenberg Raw, it's probably best for him to operate on his own. He's good enough to do media on his own. Uh, Easy's good enough to do the shit on his own. He can, he can go live at any fucking time and get two, three, four thousand people in there. And he can talk about his subjects. He can have his battles on his trenches and he can do his fucking thing. And you know what I'm saying? He can battle some more too. He said he's going to battle later on in the year. I don't see why this battle had to get this far with the people feeling like somebody won or somebody lost. Like, if you feel like you won, I mean, not this time, you know what I'm saying? I get it. But to to pretty much downplay the other person's everything, like, oh, you know, uh, he really ain't do much. Uh, his third was a bunch of gossip and rumors. I'm like, man, your second was too, though, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, like I said, I didn't think this was the biggest thing for Easy. He could battle again. He's going to get booked. And, you know, he he's so talked about that there are people talking about his top tier status. There are literally people talking about his top tier status in the game. John John was willing to bet 50,000 to end this man's streak. 50 grand. That's how important it was at one time. So 
Froze easy, man. Let that shit go, man. Y'all niggas need to move on, man. Take y'all take a walk in two separate directions and do what the fuck y'all do. But this extra shit, man, it's just extra shit. And it's gonna give fans more shit to talk about. Y'all don't wanna battle each other. So then just let it go. You know what I'm saying? Niggas can put their pride aside and move on. You know what I'm saying? They both doing their own thing. Froze is doing commentary, blogs, media. But this is what it gets when you involve yourself too close with a rapper. Like y'all gotta do your own fucking thing. You can't be clicking up. Cause everybody's watching everything. The first thing niggas are saying, yo, these niggas wasn't hanging out like that. When when niggas like was used to get at froze, I ain't see Easy jumping out the window for you. You know what I'm saying? But every time Easy had some shit going on, you was like an offensive lineman. You was there blocking it, going back and forth with this person, going back and forth with that person, going back and forth with this person. And now look, y'all done split and went y'all separate ways. I fuck with both parties involved, man. I hope y'all niggas see through it and be better than it is what it is. Um, secondly, bro, <laughs> yo, Twerk is battling Jazz the rapper. And they battling on Rome on uh, last last second seat. He got the Geechee Gotti joint out right now. He's having a battle uh, with Jazz the Rapper and uh, New Jersey Twerk. It's going down, I believe, October 28th. It's going to be on Caffeine. And I was thinking to myself, uh, how far would Jazz and Twerk, you know what I'm saying, go as far as like trolling or promoting the battle? Bro, they done blew the... It, 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 they, they wildin'. They are wildin' for respect. Jesus send the flood is getting crazy. It is definitely getting crazy in here. Uh, so Blue Cocaine says, I'm proud of New Jersey Twerk. That man was dealing with his life stuff. Took every They took every effort to talk stuff about him. How he no-showed and blah, 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 blah. She's saying, man, been bombing all year and ain't nobody said nothing. Well, that's not true. A lot of people have said stuff. I mean, you might have heard, you might not have heard, but people have half given him credit. He is on the list of the top 10 battle rappers of the year so far. So, I mean, I get it, but yeah. So let's keep it moving. Jazz says, he was effing up before his life. He's just doing what he we all been doing. Like now, he's just doing what everybody's been doing. Showing up with three rounds is not a is not a prize. You know what I'm saying? She's saying that you supposed to have been doing that. Uh, he replies and says effing cop and puts a picture up of her damn badge with the NYPD uh, government name. I ain't finna put a government name up on here. I think people know it. Some people do. Some people do. some people know it. Some people don't. Some people know it. I ain't here to promote it. So um, he puts up a picture of her badge and ID and it says her name on it. This is NYPD, bro. That is crazy. Now I didn't know whether they was gonna go crazy on each other in the battle, but now I got it pretty much. Uh, I gotta pretty much expect that now. Um, Jazz, you have, uh, we'll give you 59 hours to respond. You got 59 hours to respond, and if it's not a good response, I'm gonna have to pick Twerk winning this battle because uh, you just took a, you threw a dart at him, and he shot a, a, he shot a nuclear warhead at you. What are you gonna do? Um, other than that, man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. Make sure you check out Overtime, RightsGameClothing.com. Shout out to Fox 5 and Y, my brother Showtime SP. And yeah, uh, Easy Froze, man, y'all gotta find some middle ground, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, y'all shit shouldn't be playing out in public like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, as, as two guys who, it was in, you guys were in a podcast together. Y'all had a group chat together. Like, there's gotta be an internal way that y'all can work this out, especially if y'all haven't spoke since August 21st and it's October. Like somebody's gotta DM somebody. Are, are you niggas blocked? Are, are they blocked? Are these, are these niggas blocked? Are they blocked? Is the nigga blocked? Can he DM, send, tell him to send him a message. You know, like Easy said he changed his number the other day. You know what I'm saying? You know, in there, Hollywood, he don't want the fucking everybody calling him and shit no more. I get it, so cool. DM him and get the number to where y'all can speak and y'all can deal with this shit, man. Because the fans don't need that. The fans want to see y'all uh, doing y'all thing. And if y'all not going to rock with each other no more, y'all ain't got to rock with each other no more. But it shouldn't be playing out in public because everybody sees it now. But all right, you already know what it is. Gang, gang, roll, bang. But yeah, Froze, if you want to be media and you want to do this shit, you want to be a respected media member or respected with the blogs and the recaps and shit that you do, it's, it's just a thing. You can't have no cut on the product. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be charged with murder or man one. But there's no way you could ever lie and say that your man won. You know what I'm saying? And things done. One.